Dom, Dom, Dom. Ah. Well, we very well, good morning. We're just throw some breakfast into us, a little bit more coffee, and we're gonna head out and see if we can get those all our gear out of that big slush hole. Don't know how it's gonna go. We got a young fella, a couple camps down, that's pretty fired up to give us a hand, so we might send him out. <laughs> give that sled a test. What do you think, old John? Well, I think it's the first time I've ever had to leave my gear overnight, so uh -oh. we'll see how the recovery mission goes. Hopefully better than the uh, ride home. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to be the support team up on high and dry land, just telling them what to do. You need an old guy like me just to boss people around. Yeah, supervisor <laughs> on the job. <laughs> oh. What do you think? What do you think? Oh boy, this is gonna be an adventure. Go get him, Sylvia. Oh shit, I'm still in the bag. I think uh, this is quite an adventure. You know, it's been a Real good three days so far. Fishing hasn't been super duper, but all the extra stuff and just seeing this countryside is worth every minute. Well, I'd say it's going pretty good. I mean, we could be getting ladders and trying to get a machine out from under the ice, so we're, we're not in that bad of shape. We're They're up side. on the crust and we should be able to get at them. We're topside. Yeah. I've been worse shape. Yeah. Better than that D6. Hey! A little rope action. That probably reaches out there. Oh yeah, I got a couple too. Oh, there's some rope there. I got toe straps, but they're up to my truck. I got toe strap and some rope. <laughs> Boy, what a mountain of rope that is! Holy yeah, God. it's my boost dragon ropes. That's for getting the big, big moose out. You got paddles? Yeah, we gotta get some oars. Yeah, then we don't even need snowshoes. That's too bad. We could each sit in the boat. It's too bad I didn't have that 15 foot square steering Grumman and a little horse and a half That's that the right. used car. Yeah, yeah, we could use that. Yeah. We could use that little horse and a half. Yeah. Look at that. That's a that's some that'll do it. I believe. <laughs> all right, we made it back out. There's our all our gears way out there. You can kind of see it out in the middle. And we're probably geez, several hundred yards. I don't know how much rope he's got, but I'm standing on top of a snow drift. I got slush in front of me, and I got real bad behind me. I can't really go much further behind me or I'm gonna have to feed of the corn to get out of it. But I'm hoping he's got enough rope to get from here to there. If not, we'll find another way to do it. But if he does, I'm pretty sure I could pull both these out from here. But I, I'm pretty sure I could run my sled all the way out to it and back. I just don't know how bad it'd be in the slush and I don't want to take a risk of it, to be honest with you, burying this thing. It's got, it definitely got softer than yesterday. Oh yeah, that's why I don't think it's a good idea. Well, I'm going to snowshoe her out, but I'm even getting into the slush with my snowshoes. Made it! Huh? You don't have enough rope? Oh, crap. Made it out. Yeah, yours is probably pretty light, ain't it? No. Oh. It's all metal. 
Yeah. I'll get it over there. Okay. Yeah. Take your time. Definitely sloshed up more since last night. Well, I made it out. It's pretty bad, even with the snowshoes. It's better with the snowshoes, but it ain't much better. As you can see, I broke through a lot. But we didn't bring enough rope, I don't think, this time. We're gonna tie everything we got together and go see, and then if we don't have enough rope, Johnny's gonna run back. My snowmobile's still, it's in slosh, so. And John's in slosh, so we still got another 150 feet in front of our snowmobiles till we actually get on dry land, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna hook up. We're even gonna double up these sleds so we don't have to come back out here and see if we can do that. So Johnny's gonna bring his sled over and tie it to the back of mine. I think we might as well add as much weight to this as possible, make it harder. I think one and done's a smart thing to try. Yeah, we could try it. If it gets moving, it'll pull it. Yeah. You got the machine for it. Huh? Yeah. I'm gonna give it to you on this one. You if she goes an inch, she'll go a mile. You got the machine for it. I wish you'd hurry up and get that thing over here. Well, I said hurry up and have a heart attack. Don't do that. And then you could just tie the rope to you. God, you know, he was a good fella. Yeah. We'd have to tie the rope to you too. Yeah, you'd have to take Sadie May home. Yeah. Or at least take her up to burn back. This is way less than ideal. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it'll be I close. I don't think it'll couple that. It'll be close. That's what she said. All right. Hang on. Ready? Yep. Yep, you're close enough. We just got to turn the back end that way. Yep. Ready? Yep. Back her up to here, if she will. Okay, hold on. Yep, I don't know yet. <laughs> I ain't had a chance to. I didn't think it was. I ain't had a chance to get it near it. There we go. Looking like a no. Unless we got some rope. I ain't. Hitch wouldn't quite fit on our pin, on my my uh, tongue there. So no rope with us. We're making a. I I cut my shoestrings out. <laughs> We're making a hitch. Can't tie a knot, tie a lot. Yep. Hey, John. I got the rope. I'm gonna try to pack this down a little bit on this side because more than likely it's gonna be going left. Yep. Well, you're gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of real estate. This is a long haul, but I got about a little over 100 feet myself of good strong stuff. And then I got a little bit smaller diameter, like half inch rope. That's probably strong enough, but we're gonna go with the biggest that we got until we run out. And if we gotta double up half inch, we can double up half inch. John's bringing some more rope. Hopefully we can connect the dots. Hopefully, hopefully we got enough to make two ends meet. He ain't even got enough to make ends meet, is what they always used to say, but hopefully we got enough to make ends meet. If we can make ends meet, we're in the clear. I'm gonna go out there and work my way back. Okay. We're roping and rigging 101 here, boys. Yeah. So I got my snowmobile. Uh, it's in the slosh, but it's like the driest slosh, if you could say that. Uh, she's gonna spin hard with all this stretch too. So if we got extra rope, that might get that might get me to dry land. Well, I'd keep walking until you find that rope on the ground. All right, that's what we were short right there, was about five foot. And we got a lot of stretch, but we just couldn't gain any more. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got six wraps on it. So we got different pound test on just about every rope we got. So we're gonna find out where the weakest point is and, and how much stretch we can get on this son of a gun. But I don't know, maybe we're making a mistake trying to get it all at once. But we hooked Johnny's sled to mine, so we don't have to go back out there into that slush hole. But we're gonna try it. When there's a will, there's a way. This is just try number one. <laughs> if you mess up and it doesn't work, guess what? Make a retry. There's different ways to skin a cat. All sorts of different ways to skin a cat. But I wish I was another I wish we had another 150 foot of rope because I got like a hundred foot of slosh right here to get into and 
I know the weight's going to get on me about 30 feet ahead. We got it roped up and rigged. I'm headed in. We're going to see if we can get this out of here in a one and done. We hope so. We've got our moral support over here. Yeah, Donnie's keeping the dog in so she doesn't drown out here in the slush. Okay, the moment we've been waiting for since we left the breakfast table. Relax, Sadie, we're gonna bring our gear home. So. Let's right. hope. Right. It won't. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. No, we're not good. Keep going back and forth. It budged it. It budged it. He always said if it'll go an inch, it'll go a mile. This ain't good. This is not good. I got faith in the old boy though. Dude, that, that didn't even move it. He just took the slack out. Yeah. We're gonna... All right, oh, yeah, no, he's doing it just right though. It moved it. There you go, baby, come on! Bring her home! Bring her home! Bring her to daddy! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, give it some! Oh hey! He's home free now. Look at this conglomeration. As long as that sled don't bust off the back, we ain't out of the water yet. But boy, we're headed in the right direction. Keep going! Go, 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 go! Go! Oh God, go! 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 Home free. Look at that, Donnie. Look at that, Donnie. Look at that. He's home free. All right. Uh, how, how do you shut that thing off, Donnie? We did it. We did it. First try. We did it. First did it. try. <laughs> Look at him. He's going home. Woo! Made it, fellas. We made it out of there. We did it. They didn't have much faith in this puddle jumper, but once I jumped her out of that puddle, she come out pretty good. There was a little bit of stretch in that rope, I will admit that. Holy cow. I think I had about 50 foot of stretch in that, but we were over 500 feet out there. We had rope after rope tied up, and oh my God, look at the mess we made out there. Hopefully people can see that slush pocket and stay out of it. I'm gonna spread the word on the snowmobiling pages, nice fishing pages. Stay out of moose pond. Holy cow, I'd say. But I'll tell you one thing, guys. I've been testing this sled for two years now, trying to put it through the worst I could possibly put it through, see what it's what it can't do, and I still haven't found it yet. That was a heck of a haul from a slush pocket. I pulled all that through out of that slush pocket. Just pulling that rope alone, Kevin, let alone those two sleds full of fishing gear. So we got her. Now we got the work to do is to coil up the rope get on out of here maybe do some fishing thanks for tuning in guys so far i didn't know if we were getting out of there i want to hear in the comments if you thought i was going to be able to pop it out of that slush hole or not Woo! yeah we figured one sled weren't enough we had to add some extra weight and get two Yes, that was exciting. We were down to the last of the last we had for ropes. I had a three eighths rope in there that I coiled up six times. So that, that made it a uh, 
Yeah, I guess that makes it two and a quarter, I think, or two and an eighth. Ugh, just pulling that rope's a feat in itself, I'll tell you that. But I pinned it upside down through the cotter pin. I took out my pins there so it would tow easier. Oh, well, John said Kurt's never going to let him hear the end of this one. So, Kurt, don't be afraid to send John a message. Ask him why he took us out in that slush hole. I still think the best way to get out of a slush hole like that is with a helicopter. And if you can't use a helicopter, use a plane. But otherwise, you're on your own. I mean, I don't... If it got cold last night, we could have drove right out there probably with the sleds and the trails that we, we used to get out of there. Once you're getting slush like that, you know, take your time. Don't overheat. Take your jacket off if you need to. And uh, think it over. Donnie, can you believe we got out of that mess? I can. Let's go get into another one, fellas.